Hi guys, and welcome back to the Player YouTube channel. And yet again, I know it happens quite often these days, um, my good friend Richard Baxter has given me a call. He's got something he wants to show me. Now, if you've watched any of these previously, you'll know Richard Baxter, I called him the Professor BMW. And it's normally BMWs that he has hidden away. If you sort of click up here now, you'll also see some of the other things we found. He had a BMW boat in his garden, click up there. Um, and then there was the Lotus Super 7 we found under a tarpaulin in his garden. And click up there now, you can watch that one. Um, there's another one that we're doing with Mini that he showed me about a Mini Cooper that he's doing up and that's like an ongoing classical restoration type thing so if you're into your minis that's worth looking at as well um, check that out you can click up there now and watch that one as well but today I've no idea what he's called me in about so let's go and meet Professor BMW secret location somewhere in the UK not allowed to say um, at a place called he affectionately calls it Garage Queens um, anyway let's uh, <laughs> come with me Richard, are you about? Yeah, come on here, Andy. Oh, I hear a voice coming from the office. Let's go and have a look. Richard, ah, there he is. Hello, Hello mate. How, how are you doing? Nice yeah. to see you. Oh, how we've got you? to do the. Uh... Yes, I forgot. It's the new thing now, isn't it? Of course. Bit of uh, social distancing here as well. Indeed. It's quite good for us to do that. Yeah. Um. So you called me up. What's I, going on? What I, are you I here have. for? But you can't look at these books. Why? Well, because they the reveal. I've got a little. I've got a little reveal for you out there. Oh, have you? And these books will give the game away. So I'll close those up. I love it when Richie up. does his reveals. <laughs> so what are we actually? Are we not? You're not going to tell me what we're going to see. No. no not no, a clue. No. Come no, on. Not even a, like a tiny clue. It's a little bit English. It's a bit English. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. And you just don't see him around anymore. And you won't let me see the book. So I have no idea what Richard's going to show me. Let's go and take a look, shall we? Go Let's on. Let's go. Come After on. You. It's always the good bit. Don't trip over the microphone wires. <laughs> or tread on it. It's all over. The, well, it's up between your legs at the moment. <laughs> it's like, well, where do you well want between it? my legs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Follow us, cameraman, and mind your head. Richard, slow down. He's supposed to have a bad knee. I thought you mentioned you had a bad knee. <laughs> right, here we are. This is, well, this looks a bit crikey. A bit dusty. It's a bit dusty and it's a bit dirty. And you could have told me. I've, I've worn some nice clothes as well, but never mind, I'll give you a hand. Yeah, just to... uh, I'll tell you what, if we put this stuff on top of the bonnet here. On this car here. <clears throat> yeah. Is that all right? That's it. Okay. Whoops. Oh, and... careful over there. Yep, you don't want to be uh, pulling your microphone off there. Problem, you know, you can't get the staff these days. Right, aha. We could have a little. We could have a little uh, test here to see see whether oh, you whether you can work out what it is. Just is that sparks flying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we yeah. go again. It's the static. It's the static. You're so electric. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What do you reckon? I any, can't reach anything here. Any look. any any chances? What you can? What look at? Yeah, come on. From the I shape? mean, it's got. Um, oh, I recognise that. That's. Do you know what? I think this is the back of the car. It is the back of the car. Ah, so that's a good guess. So it's. Uh, and these, these are these are the panels in the in the boot actually. From I'm the boot. not going to be able to tell what it is from that. Okay. Um, and that's I bet someone watching's going. Oh, I know what that is. That's more giveaway. Is someone is that more giveaway? That's more giveaway. But anyone can see that? that? I didn't. And more giveaway. Oh, stop it! Will you? This is a <laughs> carpet. How can you tell what a car is under here? This is this is this is the boot. This it, is the boot. Rich, Matt. Richard, it looks very familiar. It does look familiar. Okay, I'll tell so you. So, is get... this going to go slowly, or we're just going to go pull it off? Let's just, Stop. let's just. You keep. Oh, let's I ease it up. Said, ease it up. No, it's not. Is it? It's a jag. It's, it's a jaguar. It's a jaguar. But oh my god, <clears throat> this is this is a Mark One. How could you tell? I, well done. You told me earlier, and we rehearsed this. Don't say anything. That's not true. That really isn't true. <laughs> there um, he is. What does that say on there? Um, parts UK and one skid I don't know is it, is it one skid what? parts is it I can't yeah. work it out oh don't know what that means oh skip or sk maybe a box Ooh. box where did this come from came from Canada <laughs> how long has it been here <coughs> um getting on for 18 months now actually and I haven't even noticed it. No. Imagine there's stuff in here. I mean, you know, people could walk out of here with beards. It's <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. So this is this is a lovely find because it's still got original paintwork. Wow. From 1957. Oh my God! Look at this. 
I could be really careful there because this type of car, you wouldn't be unaccustomed to finding a dead body in here or someone <laughs> tied up with a gag in there. No, so we had those removed earlier. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's the gearbox. So you. So the the actual um, this is the gearbox of the car. So the car is actually a 1957. Yeah. 3.4. 3.4 Mark 1. Wow. Manual with overdrive. <gasps> this <Yeah>. is stunning. <coughs> no wonder you were excited when you said to me on the phone, come up and have a look at the car. Yeah, this is, this is a lovely find because it's really very, very sound. Well, you can see all inside here. There's no rust. There's nothing. I mean, it's just so clean. That's right. And, and you haven't even done anything to it. I've done nothing to it. <laughs> and, and all the, um, <clears throat> these are all, all more or less carbonized, all these uh, rubbers. Yeah, it's the, a shame, isn't it? You can the see that. You can feel it. There's no, no give there, but... I'm just so shocked. It is very clean, isn't it? Very I mean, there's, clean. There's no, you know, you can see like the distances between everything. It all looks like it's never had a tap or anything. It's done about, I think it's, I think it's got 57,000 miles on the clock and they think it's original. Wow. Because it was, um, it have was you got storage service for years. history and everything for it? I've got service history. So I haven't got any paperwork in that respect. Right. But okay. um, the guy I bought it from, he told me all the, he, he told me he bought it from somebody who'd been in store for 20 years. And this is another one of your auction finds, or it, it is. It's an auction. It's an auction. Wow! I won at an auction. <laughs> but I really. Um, He'll never tell me how much he paid for things because he politely forgets whenever I ask him. So we'll just leave it at that. What's the plan for this? Because well, at the moment we can only see the back. I know it's going to be very difficult if you can look around us, guys. This is Garage Queens, as I mentioned earlier. There is his logo there, and tell. The lovely people watching what you do as a general day-to-day -day living well general day to day we, it's car storage car storage yeah we still we store people's garage queens garage queens yeah yep i'm a queen i'm a not yeah i'm a garage queen i've got so, my car in the garage yes yeah, so we've got we've got a couple of uh, a couple of storage depots but my passion is restoration and you restore some of these cars for clients yeah as well? wow yeah we do we do work with clients um, but you know, I, I sort of like big projects as well. Like this car is going to be a major project. Yeah, because I mentioned earlier we we um, we filmed you before when you've shown me some other reveals, the yeah. boat and the Lotus, and then the I minis. Think recently we've done the Mini. Um, yeah, and this is yet again another fantastic car. But yet again, as I say, without trying to repeat myself, when will this one be ready? <laughs> So very good. And I what mean, are you going to do with it? Are you going to just bring it back to life as it was? Or are you going to? Well, since a, a, friend, a good friend of mine, he said to me, "Don't do anything with it because the originality is there." Yes. Don't yes. don't repaint it. Yes. Just get it mechanically, get it work perfectly. But I don't know if I can do that because the what? paintwork is, I don't know, you know. It's beautiful. Well, just there you go. Buffing up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the chrome, the chrome's gone on here, but the um. The standout yeah. features on here, which I think are really quirky, because mm. we're talking about a 1950s car, is this tiny little like window. Yeah. Right so small, back, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is. The when later you... Mark IIs came all the way around here. And so around when here. I was a kid, I remember these cars. They were uh, quite often or not, they were uh, police cars or they were villains cars. You yeah. Know, the bad guys always had one of these cars because it was a good getaway yeah, car. Yeah, they wasn't were powerful, it? weren't they? And it had a big boot on it to put bodies in. <laughs> <laughs> including the spanner uh, the spanners. <laughs> well they used, including the shovels. They they used the Mark II, didn't they, on the uh, Great Train Robbery. Oh did they? I think as was one of the cars used in there. Yeah, Great Train Robbery was slightly before I was born. But But the other the other really quirky thing on here, I don't know if you can see this. Go on. Is that the back the back axle, the mm -hmm. wheels on the back axle are really sort of like squashed in. So the car, when you follow it down the road... It sits in. Yeah, it's like it looks peculiar. So the body overhangs quite a lot. A lot. So probably got about, what, well, it's got to be six inches. Yeah. Yeah, inside um, the actual car itself. A bit like the E-Type, skinny little wheels, yeah, yeah, great yeah. big body overhanging. Well, I'm dying to get this car out, and I'm dying to show the guys because they're probably, you know, really want to see the whole car. But I but, know that's not possible today because, as I said, we've got other cars in here that Richard's currently working on. But you can have a little peer, have a little peer inside because, honestly. Well, what we do, by the magic of editing, we'll cut there and then we'll go to one of those ah, moments. And then you can have a look inside and around the car to a little bit of music. <laughs> Go cut 
cut music interlude over. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of B-roll inside. Richard has already climbed in the car. God knows how you got in there. Um, and you want me to... You've got to, you've got to come and experience this because the, I've got the smell, the smell in here is just so... Are you telling me you've just done something? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is real oh, no, good. There's some weird people about, trust me. <laughs> right, how the hell am I going to get in here? You are having a laugh, aren't you? Just, got... just enjoy a bit of 1950s. This, this is the best thing. Classic motor. I'm never going to get out of here again because the way I've twisted that. Oh my god! Oh, the smell. It's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, oh, there's cobwebs. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? No headlining. Oh, it's all dusty and dirty. <laughs> yeah, but oh, but look at this. But look at this, look at this lovely tan colour. Yeah, there's wood. It's real wood. Yeah, wood. Uh, I think it's I think it's mahogany. I'm oh, not sure. There are some big cobwebs here. Or is it walnut? Here. Is it walnut? I don't know. Anyway, I'm, it's I'm a not veneer. a fan of tarantulas. No, there's no no spiders. You in didn't there, import this from South America, did you? <laughs> but I thought I think I think what's really really cool <laughs> is this is is this colour combination, the green and the tan. I just hope you're getting this on camera because in here it's very very dark. I must admit, we could have done with a light in there or something. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate the smell, Richard, but I'd really like to get out of here now because it's quite scary. I keep thinking I'm going to touch an, an arm, you know, like yeah. a skeleton or something. Yeah. It's like it's been in here for years. It smells like old men's dead feet. Uh. Not that I've ever smelt old men's dead feet, but it really does pong. Um, right, we'll cut there and we'll catch you when I've got out again because there's no way you're watching me getting out of this car. Go on, go away, go away. Horrible person. Right, um, a good... Sorry, just adjusting mic because... Uh, been caught in my pants there not that you want to know about that uh, just as i was about to go we were about to say goodbye to richard richard said no hang on a minute it's got to be worth pulling this car out so we've pulled it back because we've got to show you what's under the bonnet i haven't even seen under the bonnet check this bonnet out first of all richard do you want to do the honors do you know where the catch is here left hand side oh, there we go good guess see i remembered look at that oh my god so that is what is it one two three four five six that's six cylinder. Six cylinder, 3.4 litre Jaguar engine designed during the Second World War. Oh, really? Yeah. While they were doing firefighting duties at the top of the Jaguar factory. Yeah. Where they made aircraft, <laughs> incidentally. They, um, they started to design this, this uh, engine because Jaguar, prior to that, didn't have a very powerful engine. Right. They were buying in from someone else. And then they developed the latest technology, which was twin overhead camshaft. Hence, one. Two. That's it. Yep. And they came up with this fantastic engine. It went. It was in production, I think, up until, well, definitely the eighties. There's nothing on this though. Where's all the bits? Yeah, all those are in boxes. Okay. So when it came so over, we're missing from, everything at the front here. All the ancillaries. It's rather dark, guys. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. We don't have any lights, and the bonnet's up as well. But the radiator's you, missing. I think you get yeah, Richard. Everything. I mean, look how clean it is, Richard. It's yeah. amazing. I mean, I've never expected it to be that clean to be honest i better move my fingers in case you drop that well i think the previous owner was going to what they call resto mod this car resto mod yeah what's that mean well i think it's a restoration and then modified oh modified where they put the big wheels on and they drag yeah and, and they, stuff like they that. slam it to the ground and no, stick big no, wheels on it no no not this car it's so beautiful <laughs> look it's got an alcoholics anonymous badge on there as well <laughs> that's for what they used to make drunk drivers if you got caught drink driving you had to drive with one of them on the front do you think the AA operate in Canada? I, see, I imagine there's more drunk people in Canada than anywhere else in the world, from what I remember. They've got to keep warm in those cold. Yeah, cold exactly. Then I mean, you wouldn't Winter find nights. them driving around in one of these either, would you? Not well, now. Not now. You've bought it home. Yeah. It's coming home. It's coming home. <laughs> yeah, they got. Can't it. beat a Jaguar. Can't sing either. Never mind, guys. AA. It's not really Alcoholics Anonymous. Look it up. It used to be a badge that we had if you belonged to a certain company, didn't it? That came and rescued you. Absolutely, and they still do. Do they? Yeah, yeah, they're still around. <laughs> there you go. See, even I learn something every time I come up here with you. So the other thing about it, of course, was the yeah. the, man, the um, managing director. What was I saying? <laughs> the managing director, sir. <laughs> Are you going to tell me a little bit of useful information? <laughs> he was a managing director. A chap, oh, called, a chap called Mike Hawthorne. He was the managing director. I thought he was a race driver. He was a race driver in the fifties. That's right. But he ran. Yeah. He, had, he had a garage. They had a garage down in near Guildford. Oh, okay. So he was a dealer. He was a dealer. A Jaguar dealer. Jaguar dealer. Not dealer as in a dealer. You guys are like, uh, hang on a minute. That don't sound right. He was a dealer and a race driver. Yeah. And um, he, won, he won the uh, Formula One World Championship. He was our first Brit to win. He was. It 1957. Was dominated by Italians, wasn't it? And yeah. French. And, and all of a sudden. And he, he won. Um, and the, the season came to an end in October or November 57. Mm. 
he won the championship and then unfortunately the end, by the end of January he was dead how he was killed in one of these cars in a mark one in a mark one yeah wow and the same color <laughs> I hope it's not bad <laughs> bad omen <laughs> bad omen that one but uh, ghost of Mike Hawthorne hiding in there yeah he, he, he'd had this um, this mark one all fettled by the factory had a big yeah, range yeah. brakes I think gearbox don't remember the actual details of it but unfortunately he lost it on a on a wet road wet and windy road shame in Guildford and uh, <laughs> reminds me of the 70s <laughs> a windy wet rainy night in Guildford <laughs> out on the road back in the day um, joking apart what are you going to do with this lovely example of a Jaguar Mark 1 I think it's going to have to be a full back to back to new restoration wow re and repainted yep um because although although the patina is nice there comes a point where what did you call it patina patina is, is nice isn't word. it because the, the paint the paint yeah the paint, mate <laughs> the, the paint nice, is nice drop of color the paint is still original I've got, i'm going to remember that when i'm out i'm going to be looking around a second hand car doing a review and, uh, the, the patina on this car is rather special you know yes rather nice patina I hope you've learnt something today. God, I mean, the, the extraordinary efforts that we go to at the player and Richard goes to to ex explain everything and other people enjoy chatting while we're here as well. Um, so you're going to restore it back to new, which would be lovely. It goes to the next question because every time I come and see you and you reveal a lovely car, like yeah. this, like the boat, yeah. like the Super 7, like the minis, you never give me a date when you're going to start this. So I could come up here, I'm going to be like walking in here with it, but you know. How rich head. <laughs> it may well be. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't started the Jag quite yet. <laughs> the, the, there was this sort of time when these cars kept presenting themselves to me and I thought, got to have that one, got to have that one. I can see this one. Da, 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 you know, and you've sort just of, accu accumulated yes, all these cars. This bucket list of cars that I thought, <sighs> got to have one of those, got to have one of those. Finally, it all sort of happened and now I've got to get down to getting them done. Yeah. And yeah. This is where the work starts. And this is a lot of hard work. Isn't it? Well, do you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I, may, I might be wrong here, yeah, but I'm actually on. thinking that if you were to concentrate, really focused on restoring your car, yeah. you could do it in about six, seven or eight months. Why don't you? Well, then we I'm, can film yeah. it all and watch it and yeah. speed it up, you know, like in the edit, where it goes, blah, 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 and then you end up with the finished car. Well, it was, well, there's one over there, which is in that stage, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a... Well, look, guys, we're going to come back. We're going to keep an eye on this. I know he keeps saying he's going to do them all up, but he will, and we will come back and film. And we are doing them. He is yeah. doing them. But yeah. you do end up doing a lot of customers' cars as well, don't yeah. you? I think that drags you away from your little personal projects. It, it, it does a little bit, but it's, it's, all, it's all good fun. And um, But the ones that have been done, I think we've done probably three now, Yeah. which probably you haven't seen. I saw the Lotus, but unfortunately we didn't have the camera with us that day. Yeah, and there's you Lotus, were selling it. Yeah, the Lotus Land Sprint. Yes, that was one that the was yellow done. one. The yellow oh, one. Oh, it was stunning, guys. Absolutely stunning. Um, there's been a uh, there's BMW been a M3 yep. Sport EV. Well, That's we're, been gonna, done. we're actually going to come up and have a look at another one of your BMWs on another date. Yeah, I know you've mentioned that while we've been filming today. So yeah, you always come up and see the race car. Oh, we got to see the race car. He's got a race, race car, car really, as well. Really, and really there was a competition we did at the classic car show this year. Oh yes, yeah, but it's not that car. It's another one. The one you saw at the show. Not that car, another one. But race click car. up here now and you'll see that video where Richard offers up a chance to go out for a drive in that race car. And that is, yeah, it's up there yeah. now. Go and have a look at that. Um, one more punt for Garage, Garage Queens. Garage, Garage Queens. Storage and <coughs> Classic <coughs> Restoration. Mr. BMW, Professor BMW himself. Thank you so much, Richard, as always. Um, you've been watching me, AJ the Player, with Richard. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe and comment. Keep the comments coming because it's a perilous time, but I love to reply to some of your rather more wacky ones. Whatever you want to ask, whatever you want to know, give us a shout. Look forward to it. Don't forget, we are not a one trick, one trick shot, one trick pony. I like to use that one. Um, we have www down here now, theplayer.co.uk. Go and have a look at that. That has got cars like this. It's got modern cars. It's basically a publication for guys. That is what it was invented for. Ladies, you're totally welcome to have a look at it. We have a very small percentage of ladies that like to watch what we do. However, guys, if you're interested, it's completely free of charge. Go over to the website. You saw where it was. Go and have a look at that. It's got loads of other bits and pieces. AJ, the player, signing out. Thanking you for watching. Thank you, Richard. Catch you next week with another car. Don't forget, safe driving.